What's up guys? Welcome to your Bitcoin update. Could be a crazy day today. We're going to take a look at the Dow Jones dollar, gold and silver first. Then we'll get into the Bitcoin charts and try to figure out where we're going. You need to keep an eye on the big picture. It helps a lot without just focusing on Bitcoin. Also, don't forget we have a free Discord group in the description below the video. Definitely check it out. It's totally free. Great community. Let's get into it. All right, guys, as always, this is not financial advice, trading advice, nor is it investment advice. And don't forget, we do a free Ledger Nano S hard wallet giveaway. We do that every Monday. All you have to do to enter to win is make sure you scroll down, subscribe to the channel, tick the notification bell to get you notified when I post videos, hit that thumbs up, and leave your comment down below. Let me know if you're bullish or bearish in the midterm. I'm curious to where everybody's at. All right, taking a look at the Dow Jones, as you can see, we've been watching this 100-year trend line here. Let me move this out of the way. And as of right now, the Dow is under pressure. Uh, we could be heading down as low as 32.9, somewhere in that area before looking for support on the 8 EMA, but we are getting rejected still at that 100-year trend line. Now, if you remember, I said if we can open and close a daily above, then we're bullish on the Dow. Otherwise, um, if we can't get above this trend line and hold it, then it is looking pretty bearish. And when this goes down, it'll drag Bitcoin down with it. People, the dollar, we've been watching the dollar, we'll take a look at that next, is rising. And that usually means, I know everybody thinks the dollar's hyperinflating and blah, blah, blah. But when the dollar rises, smart money's getting into the dollar because that is a safe haven. And then it turns into a risk off market that means people get out of the risk on which is stocks bitcoin gold silver um anyways so taking a look at this we got higher highs in the price action on the dow lower highs in the rsi that is bearish divergence seems to be playing out nicely let's look at the dxy the dxy is under pressure today we're still high as you guys know i like to keep an eye on the three-day chart and we can we have a lot of room to bounce around in here. Um, the dollar could go back all the way down to the 92.3, um, and that would be around the 55 EMA as long as that holds. Still bullish on the dollar for about the next year or two. Uh, looking at this fractal here, you can see when we broke out last time. This whole time, Bitcoin was in its bear market. So if we do the same thing, Bitcoin could be entering a longer-term bear market. I know a lot of people don't like to hear that, and if you get all frustrated and mad when you do hear that, you need to take a look at it because you're not taking a look at both scenarios. Um, could go either way. I'm not saying that it can't continue up. But if you are expecting it, be careful, guys. Um, as you can see in the, in the MACD down here, same thing. The fractal looks identical down here as it does up here. And down here in the RSI where we broke out of the wedge, same thing here. Be careful, guys, when the dollar goes up takes everything down with it and i've showed you that in the past if you look at 2008 when we had our last big market crash gold fell silver fell everything fell except the dollar all right now looking at gold as you guys know we have this target around 1650 uh, we are getting a bounce up right now i don't think it'll be long lived we could get up as high as 1710 area retest the 8 ema um, i'll leave a tutorial up top on emas and stuff if you guys want to use that they are a great indicator but anyways um we could get a little push up but i do think we'll come down to at least this 1650 guys if you've been watching this channel you know this i've had this chart since november we made it our first target was the 1736 and i'd said if it dropped through that that would become resistance which it did and our next target would be 1647 if we get down here and this doesn't hold uh, it's going to get pretty bad for gold. Uh, silver, we still have our target between 20 and 21 here. Broke out of this rising channel. Uh, we're testing, playing around on a 200 EMA right now. Like I said, this can do the same thing, get all the way up to this 8 EMA around 2470. But I'm still expecting a 20 to $21 range for silver. Right, let's take a look at the four-hour chart. As you guys know, we've been watching this rising, broadening wedge here. Um, we had a measured move of this inverse head and shoulders at 62.80, which it's still possible we get a pump up to there before coming down. But as of right now, as you can see, we're making higher highs in the RSI, lower highs 
in the price section as hidden bearish divergence and this is bearish in the four hour we're still making lower lows and lower highs so be cautious guys um, unless we can break that sixty thousand dollar range if we do that then i'd be looking for the 62.8 somewhere in that range but as you guys know i'm expecting us to come down and retest this bottom trend line here this could be a good spot to long if we do retest this um, be careful though make sure you use stops because if we do get down here and test this and it does break we could be going much much lower um, that would be very bearish if we break this bottom trend line and depending on where it's at i've just drawn a trend line off of these wicks let me zoom in so you can see it and get that rsi out of there um, as you can see i drew a trend line off of these wicks here let me straighten it up a little bit and that would get us right around that uh, 46,000 to 46,500 range, depending on how long, if we drop, how long it would take to get here. We're going to have major support around this 52.7, so I would expect a bounce there if we do get down to that level. But again, guys, if we break that 60,000, we could be coming up here. Um, volume's very, very low right now, and it is declining, so there, we probably will see a big move. Um, if it's to the upside, I think it'll be quick and come right back down. Otherwise, it could be you know, a push down and then a slow bleed down back to this trend line. I'm still looking for this trend line. Um, let's look at the one hour. So in the one hour, as you guys know, we're, we're watching this trend. In the bullish case, uh, we come up and retest this area here. One more thing. Let's go back over here to the uh, four hour. If we do blow through that, I mean, we could come up and retest this top trend line in the mid 70s. So keep that in mind, too. It is a possibility to get just a huge pump up. But again, keep an eye on that dollar or that uh, Dow Jones because that's giving me big clues right there. But let's look at this as a rising wedge. It could be a fifth wave ending diagonal, which would be an A, B. Well, you could look at it as one, two, three, four, and this would be the fifth up around the 65.5 and then come down and then obviously we'd come down to the lower 40Ks somewhere in there. But keep an eye on it. It is a, it's a crazy area right now. The markets are acting a little silly. Uh, just remember guys, what, just because everybody on Twitter or everybody on YouTube is calling for something, that's usually a sign that it's possible it's not gonna happen. Uh, markets don't do what everybody's expecting. Um, let's take a look at this. So it, the white trend lines here, that is that rising wedge that I was talking about. If you look at the yellow trend lines here, it does look like this rising wedge played out. I showed it in the Discord yesterday. We came back up to test it. We actually broke back above it, but the measured move of that's around the $54,000 range from the breakdown of there. But again, we still have this rising wedge in here. And coming down to test the bottom of that would be around this 56.5 somewhere in that area um we could also take a measured move if we came down and broke this wedge then that gets us down to the 51 let me go ahead and put a target down in there um, that measured move if we did break this bottom trend line here of the rising broadening wedge then we could be looking for Around the 51.7 area. So uh, this RSI has moved up quite a bit in the 15 minute and not too much in the price action. So be cautious here. Uh, but even if we do get another push up and we don't break this high, but we break it in the RSI, that's going to be bearish divergence. So, uh, and by the way, the Dow Jones looks, I would just be very careful, guys. If you are interested in trading, Definitely check out Prime XBT, my favorite exchange. You can put up multiple charts. They have a great platform. You can set it up all different ways. You can trade Bitcoin, uh, gold, silver, Forex, everything from one exchange. You can even uh, trade the Dow Jones, S&P 500, oil, natural gas. Check it out. Awesome exchange. They don't trade against you. You can use my promo code SAVVY50 to get you 50% on top of whatever you deposit. As a bonus, so if you put in a thousand, you'll get a five hundred dollar bonus to use towards your margin. Savvy twenty five will get you twenty five percent off your fees, and I will leave a tutorial up top on how to use it and how to use co-vesting and turbo. So if you guys haven't checked it out already, definitely do so. Um, this is the long term chart. 
this is the macro on the log and I had put some arcs in here and the last time we broke our parab parabolic every time we break this parabola um, obviously Bitcoin has started its bear market now I have this one set here and we've been watching this top trend line uh, which is a fib and if we break this 65 to 66 thousand dollar range and get support on there then we could go much much higher of uh, the way I have this drawn now we've already broken the parabola uh, but we could we could move this um, that's why I don't like this stuff too much um, and that shows that we're getting support on it we could go much higher before coming down and breaking it so um, this right here is the area you want to watch if we do break above this and get support then we could go up to the much higher highs that's around the 65,000 range so um, we'll see what happens I expect a major rejection here but if we do blow through it then could be going to the moon like everybody is expecting and funding rate funding rates extremely high it is favoring the bears right now and we are looking at this rising channel the bottom of this rising channel is around 53.7. A break of that gives us the possibility coming all the way down here to this $34,000 range. Let me raise this up just a little bit. So yeah, somewhere in this range, depending on if and when it breaks, guys. Uh, just keep an eye on this. As of right now, we are getting support on the daily at the 8 EMA, which is 56.8 range. We're going to take a look at the wick off method. But looking at this as possible distribution, if we close this daily above the 58.5 range, we could remain, remain bullish and come up, retest this high. If we break that high, um, if we're if we don't, if we close below the 55 or the uh, 58.5, most likely uh, that would be the end of of our highs up here and continue down. But there is another distribution phase here. That shows we could come up, break this high, and that would get us around that 65,000 range before coming down. Either way, I do think we are in distribution phase. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget, check out my wife's webpage. Got a link below with a bunch of other affiliate links down there. You use any of them and you get some kind of discount or bonus with all of them. And they help the channel out. But uh, check out her page. She has awesome quality stuff on here. She does it all herself. And again, like I said, it really helps support the channel. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking the Crypto Savvy logo above my head. Smash that like button. Leave your comment below. Share the video if you enjoyed the content. And check out the videos right here if you haven't. Have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. I'll try to do a live stream today. If not, within the next couple days, I'll be doing some lives. If we get some major action... I'll see you there. Anyways, I'm out. Have a great day. Happy trading. Always use stops. Don't get wrecked. Don't put in more money than you're willing to lose. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Take it easy, guys.